Picture this, you want to use an overlay on top of another video in iMovie. You want the start of that overlay to fade in, but you want the end of it to end abruptly. You'll find that when you put your overlay in and move out your little circles of joy here to create a dissolve, it dissolves in at exactly the same rate as it dissolves out. And iMovie, unfortunately, never makes it clear when there's actually a feature you want to exist in existence. I found out that dissolving is actually something you can control independently. So let's say that we're using this as an example image in a picture-in-picture -picture on the screen. While my battle's formulating, I want to show the unit. Fair enough, I'll fade in. But when the big boss of the battle comes out here, I want it to stop abruptly. Well. Hold your dissolve out and the option key, that allows you to change these independently. So hurrah, your overlay fades in as such, and when you get to the end, cuts out abruptly. You can also use option to do different lengths of fade in, a long fade in here, a short fade out there. Technically, another way to do this is to extend the clip past where you'd want it to, and then command B, split the clip, and get rid of it. But if you want independent fading, the option key is how you do it. I hope this has helped you if you wanted some independence with your dissolve in and out of overlays.